By the afternoon of July 1, 1863, the Union Army First Corps held a position to the northwest of the town of Gettysburg, while the Union Army 11th Corps had also arrived on the scene. The 11th Corps took position to the north of Gettysburg, stretching their lines from the only high ground in the area, Blooker's Knoll, to link up with the First Corps troops. Unbeknownst to the men of the 11th Corps, Jubal Early's Confederate division was marching down the Harrisburg Road, which fell squarely on the 11th Corps flank at the knoll. Upon reaching the field, the brigade of John Brown Gordon was selected by Early to spearhead the attack. Gordon presented an imposing sight. He rode into battle on a large black war horse, his hat in hand, arms extended. With a voice like a trumpet, he urged his men into battle. One of his men later wrote, it was superb, absolutely thrilling. With a mighty attack, Gordon's brigade shattered the flank of the 11th Corps and with the assistance of other Confederate brigades started a chain reaction that led to the retreat of the entire Union 11th Corps from the north of Gettysburg. Expressions and gestures often allow leaders to physically inspire soldiers and citizens. What was Gordon's most effective expression or gesture during the attack on Blooker's Knoll?